Hey, Shalom, Shalom. First off, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Racha Kodash. Yahweh is the Heavenly Father's true name in ancient Hebrew. Yahweh Shai is the name of his only begotten Son, the Savior of the nation of Israel, starting with the elect, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. And the, the Racha Kodash is the Holy Spirit. All right, double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone, who I learned the truth from. Honor, salutations, and blessings to the men. That are preaching the gospel of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai in all sincerity, diligence, and truth. And to the house of David, the elect men, women, and children that are predestined to receive salvation and to be the first fruits of the kingdom of heaven, which is the kingdom of Israel. All right, so, uh, hey, man, there's a lot of stuff going on, man. A lot of, Lord is doing a lot of things, man, showing you that, you know, clear, it's clear as day that we in this last, we in this last day, man. All right, our salvation is, is very, very close, okay? But before the salvation, you know, comes the uh, the hell, all right? Before the uh, glory comes the glory, okay? And, um, you know, Jacob's trouble, the wars, all right? The pestilence, the, the visitation of Yahweh, Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai upon this earth, man, as he has uh, already fore, foretold us what's going to happen, okay? All these things are, are, are you know, um, the wrath of Yahweh, Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai, man. So we got to continue to uh, watch and pray, as Yahweh Shai told us, so that that day doesn't take us unawares all right continue to uh, be upon our watchtower all right and see you know what the lord is doing man see what the lord is saying through his actions all right because um let me get a scripture real quick you know the lord is uh said that he will hold his tongue no more as touching wickedness all right and that's why he got all these things all these different uh you know biblical events are happening man all this uh, apocalyptic events are happening because the lord is visiting the earth in which he made all right, this is uh, 2 Ezra 15, verse uh, 4. It says, I'm going to start at, I'm gonna start at uh, I'll start at the top. It says, Behold, speak thou in the ears of my people the words of prophecy which I will put in thy mouth, saith Yahweh. Okay, so this is why, you know, we have an unction <laughs> to speak, man, because this is not us, man. This is the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh, Shai, man. All right, that's, that's, that's putting this in our minds, all right, putting this in our spirits, to uh, bring forth, you know, uh, uh, the words of prophecy, man. All right, because you know, when I woke up this morning, I had no clue that I was going to do this. You know, hey, even on this drive, <laughs> I was thinking about it. Okay, but I had no clue what I was going to say. Okay, so this is the Lord, uh, as the scripture says, that he that he uh, raises up his uh, prophets, be times early, sending them, giving them warning, man, speaking the words of prophecy, and that's what that's the times that we in, man. We are supposed to be occupied in prophecy and in meditation thereof all right because the spirit of yahweh shai is the spirit of prophecy all right this is the time this is what's going on right now man to hell with you know debating and, and 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 back and forth and all this other bullshit you got people that's that's claim to be in this truth but they're not speaking the words of prophecy man all right we're supposed to be speaking the words of prophecy to edify the elect to, to uh uh you know push out the, the, the name of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai and the things that he is doing on this earth, man. Okay, so it says, verse 2, and cause them to be written in a paper for they are faithful and true. Okay, because that's what the prophets did in the old times. They they wrote the prophecies in the paper. All right, and now we are in an appointed time for these prophecies to speak and not lie, all right, and not tarry. Okay, so the prophets are coming back, breaking down through the Holy Spirit the things that they written aforetime. All right, because the, the spirit of a prophet is subject unto a prophet. Verse three, it says, "Fear not the imaginations against thee; let not the incredulity of them trouble thee that speak against thee." And the word incredulity means basically uh, the unbelief, man. Okay, think it's something that is is something that's incredul, meaning what? People that they don't believe it. So because you don't believe our report, because you don't believe, you know, the the the, the Lord is visiting the earth. All these things that are happening on the earth is prophesied and is leading up to the destruction of Babylon the Great, the destruction of this beast system, Esau, Edom, okay, going in, going in uh, uh, to captivity, leading up to the coming of, of the Messiah, Mashiach, Yahweh Shai, to reign on earth with his elect, the kings and priests, all right, that were foreknown from the foundation of the earth. Because you don't believe that, it don't trouble, that doesn't trouble us, man, okay? We know this to be true and we know this to be sure, man. Okay, and that's how the scripture says right here, for thee, for they are faithful and true. Everything that the Lord said is going to happen, guess what? It's going to happen. And it's happening. All right, it's happening right before our very eyes, man. But uh, but blessed is he that can see. All right. Blessed is he that understands, man. 
Okay, because if you don't understand, that means that the Lord didn't give you the, the, the spiritual ears to uh, perceive with your eyes and hear with your ears and convert and be healed. So that so the, really that means that you are just um you are uh, you are uh, 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 lost, man. Anybody the scripture tells you that I believe us that first Corinthians or second Corinthians, I believe the fourth chapter, it tells you that uh um they that believe not the gospel, all right, is because they are because they are lost. Actually, let me get that real quick. Second um Second Corinthians four, I believe, verse three. Yep, it says but if our gospel, which is the good news, all right, this is all good news. All the things that is happening around this earth right now, all right, all these prophecies come to pass, the war with Iran, okay, the, the tension, all right, you know, I'm not going to get into the articles, I'm going to pull them up, you know, for time's sake, because there's so much things that's going on, man, but all these things that was happening, the pestilences, you know, the medieval, you know, diseases that's coming back, all right, the, uh, uh, the food shortages, Okay, you got slave slavery reparations uh, being talked about now in, in, in mainstream media. Now, you know we at the end times, man. <laughs> if that's being talked about, the Lord is putting all this into remembrance, man. All right, because the Lord said that he requires that the thing that has passed. Okay, and the true reparations, the true slavery reparations, all right, and the slavery talking about the slavery of the Israelites, the true reparations, the, the true, because we go into that word reparation, it means to repair. The true way we're going to get repair is not going to be by some means of Money, all right, RF, our, our, um, FRNs, okay? It's not going to be by way of Esau paying us uh, back. No, we're going to pay Esau back by way of putting his ass in captivity, man, okay? He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. Here is the patience and the faith of the saints. And that's a gospel. That's a good news, all right? But it says, but if our gospel, if our good news be hid, it is hid to them that are lost. So if you don't believe this, it's not going to make the faith of the most high without effect. This is still going to come to pass, man. Okay, so verse um, verse 4, it says, For all the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness. And that's it. That's what's going to happen to you. You don't believe that the, that all these things are happening because it's been written, okay? And the only way to, to, uh, to, to, to be saved out of this is, is repenting and coming back to your power, Yahweh, in the name of his son, Yahweh Shai, you Israelites. If you don't believe that, then guess what? You're just going to die in unbelief. There's nowhere around it, man. All right? That's why we only concerned with the elect of the nation of Israel. Okay? The elect that are scattered throughout the four corners of the earth. Okay? Speaking in different tongues and languages, looking like the different nations. But through the spirit, they are Israelites. They hear this word. They hear this gospel. And they rejoice at it. And they repent. And they believe on Yahweh Shai. Those are the only ones that's going to be saved, man. Because all the rest, you're going to die in unfaithfulness. Okay? Verse 5, it says, Behold, saith the Lord... I will bring plagues upon this on the world, the sword, famine, death, and destruction. For wickedness have exceedingly polluted the whole earth, and their hurtful works are fulfilled. That's right. The whole the hurtful works of, of this devil Esau, these two-thirds are wicked Israelites, is fulfilled, man. All right, you at the time you have reached the border of your wickedness, man. Okay, so now comes the judgment. How comes the the the, the plagues that the Lord said he's gonna bring upon this earth? The sword, the famine, death, destruction. That's the only thing that's coming for this age, man. All right. And that's why we're seeking the end of this age, because we know the end of this age is the beginning of Jacob. All right. Beginning of Israel, the beginning of the everlasting kingdom, the beginning of the kingdom of Israel, our dominion, our reign. All right. Which is going to be an everlasting reign, man. All right. The scripture says that the saints shall take the kingdom and shall possess it forever and ever, man. All right. Why? Because Yahweh Shai, the king of kings, is coming with the armies of heaven to make war and righteous and righteously, man. Upon this beast, upon this world, upon the wicked, okay? So, you know, <laughs> hey, that was just the spirit, but here's one uh, article, all right? Uh, it says, this came out yesterday, June 20th. It says, India deploys warships to Persian Gulf amid rising tensions between U.S. and Iran. So now you got the Indians, which are also Elamites, all right, along with the Persians. They're bringing their, um, they're bringing their, uh, uh, their uh, warships over to that region, the Valley of Jehoshaphat, okay, and they're bringing and they're bringing their big boys, man, okay. It says Indian Navy is deploying multiple vessels to the Persian Gulf and the in the Gulf of Oman, uh, Amman, to provide to to like to provide security for Indian flagged ships traversing the area. The, the decision follows multiple attacks on merchant ships there, <laughs> okay. Hey, the spirit, man, because the scripture tells you that the merchant. The merchants are going to stand afar off when they see this place being destroyed, okay? 
They're going to stand afar off when they see Babylon being destroyed, man. So you got that happening. Okay, you have the downing of the um, of the drone that's happened. Okay, hey, in the scriptures, uh, let me get that scripture real quick. Because those those are in, those are Persians, man. Those are Indians, Elamites. Okay, they are 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 there. The Lord is is mustering up the battle of the uh, mustering up the host for the battle, man. All these different uh, countries are getting together, going down to that to that region. Okay, because that's where this uh this this uh World War Three. All right, this day this Armageddon is going to pop off at man. Okay. And that's going to be the, the, the demise of Babylon the Great, man. All right? That's going to be the, the destruction of this place, man, which we, all right, if you're in the right spirit, this is what you're praying for, which is what you're watching. This is what you're getting excited for daily, man. All right? Isaiah 13, verse 4, it says, The noise of a multitude in the mountains, okay, the government, it says, like as a great people. All right? It says, uh, like as a great people, a tumultuous noise of the kingdoms of the nations gathered together. Yeah, these kingdoms of these nations are gathering together, man. All right? They're gathering together to go where? To the valley of Jehoshaphat, Yahweh Shapat, because there is where the Lord is going to uh, uh, plead with all these other, all these nations, man. Okay? So this is why this is happening. It's no coincidence, man. This is not something that's just, oh, you know, uh, we, well, you know, this is just, you know, same thing that's been going on forever. No, man. Okay? That's you, you, you are blinded by what's really happening, man. The Lord, all these things are coming to pass all, uh, all in a, in a conglomeratory way, which is pr uh, pursuant to the prophecy, man. All right. It says, um, nations are gathered together. The Lord of hosts must rift the host of the battle. Okay. The Lord of hosts is mustering the host of this battle, man. Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, because the scripture tells you that he dealeth in the kingdoms of men, Right. This is uh, Zach, Zephaniah chapter 3, verse 8. It says, Therefore wait ye upon me, saith Yahweh, until the day that I rise up to the prey. Okay, who is the prey? Esau Edom is the prey, man. All right? He's the prey because the Lord has, has a, a controversy, has a pleading at the, that he's going to do with this devil. Okay? It says, um, For my determination is to gather the nations. All right? That, uh, my determination is to gather the nations. He's gathering these nations. All right, and where is he bringing them? To the valley of Jehoshaphat. It says, to pour upon them my indignation, even all my fierce anger. For all the earth shall be devoured with the wrath, with the fire of my jealousy. <coughs> okay, so it says, the Lord is, is going to gather all these nations, assemble these kingdoms, and pour upon him his indignation, which is righteous anger, man. All right, so this is why you got, you know, this going on right here. Now, let me uh, pull up another, pull up another uh, scripture. I mean, that's the scripture. Another article, real quick. You know, this, this is what. Hey, this is you know, this is our uh, our chat, man. You know, this is what the the occupied in prophecy. Okay, brothers that are in in in, in serious minded. You know, we just putting up articles, things that are happening throughout the world, man. Because that's that's how the mind is supposed to be in. Once again, the spirit of Yahweh Shai is the spirit of prophecy. So here it goes. Uh, New York Times. This came out last night, late last night. It says for for Trump, judgment time is coming. On how to respond to Iran, okay? Judgment time, all right. The Lord Yahweh Shapat, the Lord's judgment is is upon is is here, man. He is visiting the earth which he made. The riots, okay. The 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 uh, the uh, uh, the pestilences once again that are happening. These wars, all this is the judgments of of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Actually, let me get something uh, real quick again. This is um. Second Ezra 9, verse, uh, I saw that one. It says, and he answered me then and said, measure thou the time diligently. All right. Hey, we just see judgment time is coming. Okay. This is the time that we in. We in the time of war, man. We in the time of hate. We in the time of, of judgment. We in the time of the end of this age, man. The end Esau is the end of this world. You Edomites, man. Okay. So it's measure thou the time diligently in itself. Which is why you got to constantly be watching, constantly be be looking at the news, man, linking it up to biblical prophecy. All right. So that they don't come upon you under words that that the Lord don't come like a thief in the night. But he, you'll be blessed because you, you are fine. So doing his will as he commanded us to do, measuring the time diligently, making all diligence to make uh, giving all diligence to make your calling and election short. And when thou seest part of the signs pass, all these are signs. OK. You got all this stuff is happening and people are still just oblivious, man. <laughs> oblivious. You niggas. All right. You two thirds, man. Hey, 
There's there's nothing else for 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 the Lord to do except for to, to destroy you, man. Because he's showing you all these signs, and yet you are still in the mindset as if nothing is happening. It's a it's really a it's hey it's 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 wild, man. But hey, once again, the water Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai that he's given us the eyes to see, man. Okay, he's given us he he he, he gifted us the ability to see what's going on. Okay, when thou seest part of the signs past which I have told thee before, then shalt thou understand. That it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. And how is he begin how is he visiting the world with his indignation, righteous anger, his wrath? Okay? Therefore, when thou shalt when there shall be seen earthquakes and uproars of the people in the world. You just had an earthquake hit Japan, okay? I believe you had an earthquake hit over there in uh, uh, uh South uh, um, South America, I believe. You know, earthquakes be happening all over the place, man, all the time. These uproars are hitting damn near every single country definitely every single continent there's a uh, there's an uproar of peoples but multiple different countries within these continents okay it says then shall thou well understand that the most high speck of those things from the days that were before even from the beginning okay because the lord the scripture tells you that uh he declares the end from the beginning man and we are at the end and this is why we're seeing all these signs these tokens Okay, it says for for Trump, judgment time is coming on how to respond to Iran. Hey, and there was an article last night. Trump even ordered a strike on Iran, but then at the last second pulled back, man. All right, so that's what's in the air, man. Okay, military uh, uh, action, military hot war is 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 upon 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 this world. Okay, and you still got the the RFID microchip, the mark of the beast that's going to be implemented. All right, the the economy collapsing. All these things are just right at the edge, man. It's right at the tip, okay? So, we, hey, this is beautiful times. As the scriptures tells us, Yahweh Shai said, when thou shalt see these things come to pass, lift up your head, for your salvation is nigh, man. So this is exciting times, all right? Exciting times to prophesy. Exciting times to be in this truth, all right? Hey, fuck the devil. Fuck these demons, all right? They, hey, just keep pushing, man. Don't let, don't let Satan uh, uh, sift you. <coughs> don't let your candle, your candlestick be uh, uh, taken out, man, because we are in the time of, of deliverance, man. Okay, so Lord Willens edifying to the elect, all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bashim Yahushai and Shalom.